All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Dubuque rig. Invented in Lonsdale, Minnesota, but mastered in Webster, Minnesota. Uh, basically, it's just two baits, two Moon Eye jigs, one with a little Moxie, one with a little Kai Tech you can put on whatever you like. And we're just kind of slowly vertical drifting. I don't know the origin of this rig. This is one of my first times ever doing it. Brooks is showing me how. And it's it's simple, but very effective. Oh, <laughs> Brooks just snapped off. We're rolling on the river in Wisconsin, and we're going for eyeballs. So let's chuck this to Buke rig and see what happens. Oh, we will. <laughs> That's the game plan. We like to eat beef jerky. We like to poop with the door open. We like to go on riverboat gambling trips. Cousin Kyle. Cousin Kyle and the mayor. <laughs> Great group of guys here. We're all gonna die together. Talk to him about the river. We, we're not river rats. We're really new to this, but this is freaking cool. We basically don't know what the hell we're doing, <laughs> but we're kind of putting a little, little game plan together. We're figuring some stuff out. And, and the opportunity is here. There's freaking a ton of walleyes yeah, in their bite. A lot and of walleyes. Soccer. There's a lot of smaller ones, but there's potential to catch a 30, 30 inch walleye out here, I'd say. So, I mean, probably not that common, but people do catch some big, really big walleyes out here. So. Get on the inside of these guys and yeah. hit because that is like that seems to be the deal. Look at that line, yeah. And you can see we were trying out and stuff. Yep. Try three pounds. There you go. That babe. Nicer one? Yep. Ready? Yep. And make sure you put a mark. Yep. Right. That a babe, cousin Kyle. Let's go. Man. Show that to the camera, cousin Kyle. Cousin Kyle, first walleye. Oh. There we go. I didn't see that camera there. Matter or not? Where's the live lab rocks? Right, you're standing on it. Well, I didn't see that fine. camera there, Kyle. I was like, who are you showing that to? <laughs> 11.30 at night. Yeah. What? Better fish? Sauger, beautiful eater. This one will join us in the grease. We're just dropping the Dubuque rig right over the boat. We're staying like half a mile an hour, but we're also going into the current, so I don't know what that would equate to, but our baits are definitely ripping down there. We're lifting them like six inches off the bottom and just kind of slowly pulsing it and then whack, <laughs> going to eat tonight. All right, really quick. Let's break down this funky rig called the Dubuque rig. Uh, the Dubuque rig is a killer presentation for border water walleyes. First and foremost, please check your rules and regulations to make sure it's legal in your area. Uh, this rig is not legal in my home area of Minnesota, but today we're fishing some border waters in Wisconsin. And this whole rig was basically developed to be trolling either into current or downstream from current. The whole concept behind this is two baits are better than one. So basically the whole rig is this. From your main line, you tie on a three-way swivel. On the top of the swivel, you tie a shorter leader line of monofilament, like a foot length of monofilament line. From there, I'm running a small one fourth ounce moon eye jig. And on the bottom of my three-way swivel, I've got about a foot and a half to two feet of longer leader line. To there, I'm tying on a heavier jig head, like a half ounce moon eye jig. 
and that'll basically help keep your rig straight and true as you're trolling either into the current or downstream. Put on whatever plastics you like, try whatever you like. We really mixed it up today, but on my bottom, I have a half ounce Moon Eye jig with a little Kitek. On the top, I've got a lighter Moon Eye jig with a little Moxie. And basically we're just dropping it to the bottom and we're slowly trolling upstream, keeping that bait six inches to a foot off the bottom, pulsing it every once in a while and then thwack. So that's a Dubuque rig and it's definitely effective. If it's legal in your area, I'd, I'd for sure try it. kind of been working this area for a little bit we kind of got like three or four pins down in this one kind of like same area we kind of picked up two or three fish through out there we just went back over it me and sam doubled up it's the biggest fish of the day so far not a giant but you know that's a good fish oh that's beautiful and you're allowed what are you allowed on the river four each four each yeah. four person soggered walleyes walleyes got to be over 15 inches and i believe the we can keep we one over 20. one over 20 yep yeah this Show me our, that one broadside. This is our one over 20. Skinny. <laughs> Beautiful post-spawn river beast. But guess what? It's going to taste damn good. Nice job. That Happy was a days. quick double. What do you think, Cousin Kyle? Cousin Kyle has a different approach. Talk to me about your approach. It's been working. Well, you know, I'm out here just casting her out a little deeper, bringing her in slowly, and it seems to be working right now. I'm going ripping double white right now. I think that's a key bait, I think, so. Talking about... No way. Oh, 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 <laughs> that would have been sweet. Oh. <laughs> We well, are in the river, so there's snags everywhere. But yeah. Like Cousin Kyle was saying, Brooks and I are just up front debuking, doing just some nice, easy pulls off the bottom, and Kyle's just kind of backboat assassin, picking apart everything. We're looking for seams. We're looking for any indifferences up here on the 360 in the map. So oh, putting it together. Bucket. I like this. The middle bucket opened and caught right like that. You bump, I think you bumped it because the top part bumped, ended up bumping the. I bumped the fish. No, the line it did. Yeah. Oh, Kyle. A lot of guys hand line out here too. What does that mean? You never seen that? No. So they literally it's like set up in the front. The line's hooked up, and then yeah. you go to the back of the boat, and you just, you just go in there. You just hand line it. You me? Yeah, there's like a bunch of people here. There we go, nice fish. Let's get the net. Nice auger. Is that Yeah. Nice. Sorry, I thought he was bigger than that. Right? I thought he was bigger than that. It's all good. He smoked it though. You're not going to keep him? No, no, I am. Yeah. Throttled it. I think so. Beautiful eating soccer. Oh, delicious. Oh, all right. Eight. Eight. Four more. You can do it. Should be three. <laughs> but can we get to that boat, boat access? I'm <laughs> fighting you. You know the first move I'm doing? Titty toaster. <laughs> <laughs> That's dirty. 
Oh. I don't think it's big. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Soggy? Soggy. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he'll eat. Delicious. A delicious and nutritious soggy. It's right on the chin again, isn't it? Yeah. Delicious and nutritious. How's got? Is it a fit? No, oh, sorry. I think. I think that's a sauger, eh? That's a sauger. Alright, we're going to the spot. Just keep going. Sam, there we go. Damn, dude. Netter or not? Dude, yeah. Beautiful song. Here, grab that front, make sure. Oh, he ate the moxie deep. Oh. On the bottom of the Dubuque rig, we got a half ounce moon eye jig. And on top I got a quarter. This one absolutely ate the big heavy jig. No question. Freaking pounded. Beautiful saw guy. Beautiful little sauger. Finish this pass out here by our two juice ones. <laughs> I know the freaking. I don't know if it's the way I'm, I'm let, the mono line I'm letting out or whatever. I'm trying to just do the same every time. I'm not doing anything different to you. <laughs> I know. Well, we got our 12. We limited it out. We didn't get out here at the crack of dawn. We just played the river dance, the Dubuque rig. Talk to him about the day quick. Well, we filled out, we filled our box, kind of got out here. We kind of knew the area we were going to hit right away, and I bet you it was five, ten minutes in, we already pulled out our first fish. And, uh, they were just Dubuque rigging the whole day. Kyle was kind of doing a casting thing. We were, me and Sam were both just right off the side of the boat, slow trolling. Kind of got a little list of uh, waypoints down, kind of in a straight line basically for us too, so kind of easy for us to get on the fish and stay on them. Um, I don't know, it's a pretty quick day, pretty fun day. I think that's a good afternoon. And the weather's beautiful. What do you think, Kyle? Well, I think, you know, it took a little bit to get keepers we wanted, but we did it. So that's all I gotta say. Got some nice eyes here, and that's all I gotta say. All three of us here, we are lake rats. We are not river rats um, by any means. Brooks, he kind of got the program from one of his buddies and kind of learned how to do this Dubuque rig, and this is my first time doing it. Like I said, I, I grew up around lakes. I'm very novice when it comes to rivers, but the opportunities here, and it's it's not that difficult kind of once we figured out the program. We're really just kind of going by every bump out, every little point here, finding current seams, finding eddies, and just going slow, slow trolling. Um, and as far as intimidation goes, the river intimidates me, but if you've got Lake Master, if you've got the Fish Smart app, you can really kind of see where that main river channel is, and it doesn't matter what kind of boat you have, you could you could follow the main river channel, hit some high percentage areas, you can really see some of the best spots with your eyes, so it's not like you need to have phenomenal electronics, but come out here, you could throw an anchor in a river seam, and you could just, you could jig a jig and minnow, or a jig and plastic, or Dubuque rig like us, so, yeah, we're gonna go take these, clean them up, and then we might do some fishing tonight, so, stick with us. Happy days. Happy days. Happy days. Good work, Kyle. Nice work. Move ahead. Oh, my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead.